Hello again, Terry Bailey, Senior Minister, Indian Run Christian Church, East Canton, Ohio. Working my way backwards through the book of Philippians, considering things that are good advice for every single season of our lives, but particularly good advice right now. I'd like to work now, uh, having, I guess I should say, having gone through chapter 4 and seen how we should pray and how we should accentuate the positive and meditate on the excellent, and then seeing in chapter 3 how we should take this opportunity to press forward in our calling to the high mark of Jesus Christ. I'd like to add now this passage from chapter 2 verses 3 to 8. Do nothing from selfishness or empty conceit, but with humility of mind regard one another as more important than yourselves. Do not merely look out for your own personal interest, but also for the interest of others. Have this attitude in yourselves, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, although he existed in the form of God, did not regard equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself, taking the form of a bondservant, and being made in the likeness of men, Being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. Good advice for any day. Think less of ourselves. Think more of others. The woe is me, poor me, I'm so miserable attitude arises from thinking too much of ourselves, our personal circumstances, our wish not to experience inconvenience and pain. And that can all be avoided by simply asking, what can I do for others? And certainly there are others at this time who need your support first responders who could use a meal provided, and so many people are doing that, grandparents who could use a a daily contact while they are isolated at home, a thousand things that we can do for others which would demonstrate that we have in us the attitude which Jesus Christ had in him as he abandoned his glorious home in heaven to take on the form of a servant. And it's easy to say, well, yes, but that virus is out there. We could get hurt. Well, I believe Jesus got hurt as a result of his selfless act. And I'm not telling yourself to recklessly go out and intentionally catch the coronavirus, but I'm telling you, don't let fear stop you from thinking more of others, for in this path lies happiness and joy, and we can do this today. If you would pray with me again. Father, I just ask that you put the needs of others into our minds and hearts and help us to see the opportunity that we have to help them and to step forth, not simply in wisdom but in wisdom and selflessness to meet their needs. Give us the courage to do this and the peace and joy that results from it. For we ask this also in Jesus' name. Amen.